Hey everyone, Eric here. Up next is a uh, pretty fun topic, which is trading in your IRAs. So let's jump over to the main screen and dig in. So first off, the very first thing I have on here is if you are interested in setting up a Roth IRA, do yourself a favor and make sure you do it as soon as possible and max it out as frequently as possible. And here's the reason why. I'm going to pull up a quick overview that reviews Roth IRAs versus traditional. So if you take a look, traditional is on this side, Roth is on this side, same thing, traditional's here, and then Roth is over here. And that's with the mouse, so don't make fun of the handwriting any more than we already need to. Um, most of it is going to look pretty similar. But there is a very significant difference in income eligibility, and that is right here. So the reason why it's important to start in your Roth <clears throat> as soon as possible is once you hit 124K, if you um, file single, or 196 if you file jointly, once you hit those thresholds and you move over, you cannot contribute to the account anymore. So what happens is you can get stuck with a certain amount of money in that account, and you're going to essentially completely rely on your ability to develop the account for the accumulation of wealth in there. So big recommendation if you are going to trade Roth IRAs, start as soon as possible. Give yourself as much time to continue max it out before you hopefully hit these thresholds so like I said, once you hit there, like I can't add any more to the account, so it's stuck. I can only trade what's in there, and it is what it is. Now, the good part is you can always have a traditional IRA, which is nice. So once you finish your time in your Roth, or you can even have them both simultaneously, you know, um, you can still do the traditional. Now, something to keep in mind is you're you're still going to be limited on the amount you can apply to Roth, I mean, sorry, not Roth, that you can apply to IRA accounts. So keep that in mind. Don't start maxing out both because you're going to find yourself in a bad spot. You can you get up to that amount for IRAs in general, not whether it's Roth or traditional. So moving on to a couple, I don't know, I guess just quick overview of what I like to do, a couple things. First one is I typically trade cash secured positions in there, but there is a loophole, which is interesting enough that it exists because it's for futures, which, you know, the idea of forcing people to not be able to trade on margin in a Roth account is obviously for the security of the account to make sure that it's less volatile, things like that, kind of protect you against yourself, forces people into less volatile trading styles. but you can trade futures. I can trade options on futures. I can sell naked calls on futures. Just can't do it with options. No idea why it exists, but it is helpful to know that it is there in case you want to speculate in your IRA. You most certainly can. You just need to use futures. Now, something else to keep in mind is if slash when you do trade futures in your IRA, it requires 125% of standard margin. So they're going to essentially force you to have more money that you would have to set aside for those trades than you would see in you know, your standard margin account, portfolio margin, so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind. My general focus is covered strangles. That's 99% of the trades that I'm going to put on in my IRAs. And with that, I just looked at the accounts, and I have averaged from 2007 to 19, 15.2%. So it's not as high as my general margin account by a fair margin, sorry for the pun. But that part aside, it's still slightly above the market. And you know, it just shows that using options kind of in a very conservative manner, we can still enhance our returns modestly over the market, but again, kind of fall, fall within the rules of the IRA structure. So that's pretty much all I have for this. I, I don't really believe in actively trading the IRA. This is where I put a lot of my slower trading things and I focus on my margin accounts for more actively trading. 
And like I said, just keep in mind the amount that you can contribute to all IRAs is 6000 a year as of right now. So if you're interested in a Roth, I would focus on that, get that thing going and continue to max that out until you hit that threshold. Then when you can't add to that anymore, then you can rotate over to a traditional if you feel like it. Just keep that in mind if you do use Roth. Once you hit that threshold, you're stuck. And then the other thing to keep in mind, like I said, is the futures trading. If you do want to speculate, you can use futures. But other than that, it's going to behave a lot like a regular account. It's just going to force you to be cash secured. So you're not going to be able to trade on margin for options. So that is essentially my approach. I keep it really simple in there, nothing crazy. If anybody has any questions or anything that they like to add on what they like to do in their IRAs, feel free to chime in, let me know, and I'll catch everybody later.